Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's good to visit with you today. You know, we're just a few days away from Valentine's Day, and it seemed fitting to reflect on the theme of love. For my foundation to my devotion today, here are these words from 1 Corinthians 13, verses 1 through 3. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I'm a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. You know, among the most prominent New Testament texts is this discourse on love found in 1 Corinthians 13. Hal Hobson has paraphrased part of this beautiful text in what has become one of the most popular late 20th century hymns, appearing in many major hymnals published since 1980. The hymn is entitled, The Gift of Love. Here, the first verse. Though I may speak with bravest fire, and have the gifts to all inspire, and have not love, my words are vain, as sounding brass and hopeless gain. The gift of love as a song first appeared as a very popular anthem in 1972. Both the text and the music are effective paraphrases of 1 Corinthians 1 through 3 that I just read. And the melody is an adaptation of the beautiful folk melody, O Wally Wally. But today we want to focus on the message of these words, message of this song, and a reminder of the place love has in each of our lives. Both Paul's writing to the Corinthians and Hal Hobson paraphrase reminds us that without love, we're nothing more than a sounding gong. Whatever perceived power we might have, we're nothing without love. If our acts of philanthropy are only done that we might boast, and our hearts are not in the right place, it's all for naught. I lift up these verses in song because I've had to learn some hard, painful lessons in my life. When I was fresh out of high school, I define success in a worldly fashion in terms of career accomplishments, getting more things, getting my degree with honors, and often working and going to school for 60, 70, or more hours a week. But do you know what it cost me? I neglected relationships. I wasn't attuned to God's nudging. And I was striving after hopeless gain. I had lost focus on my love for God and family in the pursuit of success and looking good, and I wasn't counting the cost in those relationships. Now hear me, I'm far from perfect today, but things don't matter like they used to. All I have to do is see my old car with over 100,000 miles. It's just one witness that things just don't matter like they used to. Ask me what I want for my birthday or Christmas, and it's time with family and friends. Ask me what my priority is today. It's clearly about God and family, taking care of thee and being there for. That's the biggest change I've made over the years. Ask me what I regret the most. It's time lost with family and friends because I was too busy chasing the wrong things. So as you approach Valentine's Day this year, I want to encourage you to take stock of your life. I hope you're doing a lot better than I've done in the past. But the real love we need to focus on this Valentine's Day must go way beyond flowers, candy, and fancy dinners. It must be a real commitment to be present for and in investing in the lives of those we love. They need to know that you're that they are your number one priority in your life. Let me close with stanza number three of the gift of love. It's a prayer voice to the Holy Spirit that love may control our every action. May this be our prayer also. 
Come, Spirit, come, our hearts control. Our spirits long to be made whole. Let inward love guide every deed. By this we worship and are freed. Amen. Well, I'd like to share with you two things. They're really two exciting things. Um, this Sunday, it's finally here. Uh, we're going to have a wonderful special service uh, centered on the theme of love. Uh, my message will be on the faces of love. And I'm really excited. Uh, three couples have said yes and are going to be sharing their witness about love in their relationship. And then we're going to conclude our service as we're offering couples a chance to renew their wedding vows. Uh, you'll be invited. Uh, they'll be invited to come forward and share in this memorable moment. Uh, I hope that you're talking with your spouse and will take advantage of this opportunity. And then the following the service, everyone is welcome to a reception and a time of fellowship. This all happens this week. I hope you're planning to join us for this very meaningful service. And then I'm excited. Wesley Preschool has been doing so well. We have over 50 children uh, in our preschool this year, and they are now accepting applications for the 2022-2023 school year. Classes are available for ages one and a half years through pre-kindergarten. You can see our newsletter, bulletin, or our website, www.wesleyum.org slash preschool. Let me say that again, West www.wesleyum.org slash preschool. And there you can gain additional information. Well, I am glad that you took time to visit with me today. And let's close this time with prayer. Loving God, may we do better at making you, our family and friends, our top priority. Help us not neglect them by becoming too busy or chasing after hopeless gain. Help us to love others in both word and action. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for visiting with me today. Let's talk again soon. And may the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.